Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we have discussed all about how to create a multi steps with a progress bar. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how we can create a multi step form inside this one section. When you click on it, you will be able to see next form. Click on it to display another form. So, let me share with you guys how you can create it. So, I go to my code editor. First step, I will change the background color because I don't really don't need the light gray color and i'm gonna use linear gradient and there i will use 90 degree rgba and i will assign a different type of color combinations and that will zero percent comma and i will grab this one this one make a duplicate just duplicate duplicate four times I don't need this one this one and this one right in the next one I need to change like where it is here 203 and that is 48 two double seven and that is one percent opacity and 33 percent and this will be 100 percent but uh, I don't need this one and last one I will use 255 168 7 add and 1 that is 100% so I need to sell and get guys the next thing I'm gonna change the color of the circle like this one so I'm gonna copy this one code and I will change to circle and also I go to progress bar I will change this one color as well so and let's yeah great and last and final one is button take so I will also change the button so yeah great guys so that's it for the designing and I go to the steps so I need to comment out that because I will display the form inside there and just a minute what happened I just able to see yeah okay so step number one you need to create a function that will help us to display the different type of content inside the inside the uh, content section so in a minute i will call function const render steps create a function and i will use switch statement and the switch statement i'm going to pass the step use color brackets and use cas one if the step number one is active then i need to return uh, return of step one like this one get three times and second that is third two and that is third so and finally you need to use default return none so I need to get the function and I'm gonna pass the function where is my content um like there so i need to comment out just calibrate get passing the function on there so we need to save it and uh, let's look at that right step one when you click on that and step two three get so let's make a uh, forms so i'll create a component forms dot uh, jsx so inside that i will create a different type of forms uh forms right uh, with the help of functions by the way there are different ways you can export the different type of content inside the particular file but I will use this separate function and export one by one and I will get the data from the forms to our step file so let's see how we can do that I'm gonna use export function and the first one I will display the personal information so I'll create a component personal 
I'll use return. What do you want to return? I'll use return class name uh, form container. Container like that. So inside the form container, I'll use H2, use personal information. The next one, I'll use form tag, leave the action. And I'll use input type text and that placeholder is into your first name and yeah enter your first name into your uh, last um, enter your password no enter your mobile number that's our personal information we need to save it and I'm gonna get it second time and that is our sign up detail so in the sign up detail I change the content is sign up or registration form you can use any text as you want so in the first input I will use the email the next one is password that one is also password so I need to change enter your password here yeah, confirm password and finally I will get the same thing and I'm gonna what social icons I will use social links links oh I change the titles Lines. so in the first one I will use the that is our type is text same thing I'm gonna get it just change the text Facebook yellow Twitter yellow, and last one is Pinterest so we need to say and we have three forms right first second and third so I need to get the data inside this table so I need to use import and I need to get the one by one data from my form deck so the first one is personal yeah and the second is signer and third one is social links so in the step one you need to pass this one component to return the data like this way and the next one you need to display the next component like that and use curly bracket sign up and last one you need to use social icons social like that's it so uh, look at that guys registration form social link so let's design it so I use the comment on the form so you need to get the form container and inside that I have a h2 first number one text all in the center so it should be displayed the content in the center the text and inside the form container have a form input field so I need to use width 94% uh, and I'll use the border one pixel solid light gray color and I'll use the padding top and bottom 0.75 and left and right 0.50 right font family I'll use in hurry and yeah that's we need to save it and let's look at that yeah great i need to make a space of each input field so i need to use margin bottom oh wonder so it should be displayed great thing yeah move next next yeah great guys so this is our completed our form and yeah if you want to add more styling so I also use form actual uh, outline is known, border also known. 
from the desire land. Okay, I will use the focus guys, I think. Yeah, as you can see. So I remove the border just to use the outline is now. Right? So that's it guys for the uh, multi-step form using React.js. So thank you.